What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lyman Football. Now today's video is gonna be the full review on the Nike Four Savage Pro Lyman cleats. Now you're gonna to wanna to stick around all the way till the end of the video because we talked about a couple things that might make this cleat a deal breaker for you. Now, also do not forget, thank you to FB Cleat Heat for hooking me up with these Four Savage cleats. These are fantastic. If they are sold out wherever you're looking, he definitely has a couple pairs, so check him out down below. So Nike has basically two models of this cleats. They have the Nike Four Savage Pro, and then they have the other model where it's basically a little bit higher up, where it actually has multiple ankle straps. Now, this cleat does retail for $130. However, East Bay had a massive sale on these cleats where you could actually pick them up for as low as like 40 bucks super recently. As far as color scope, they come in all the standard colors. So green, yellow, orange, red, blue, black, white. And with each of those, you can either pick it up where just the uh, one piece upper is that color, or you could pick it up where the entire thing was that color. Now let's take a quick tour around the cleat before we jump into some of the categories. Now on the bottom of the cleat, we have what we're calling the Nike Alpha Traction Plate. Here, this is used on a lot of their menace cleats now. It's used on these, the other editions of these cleats like we were talking about earlier. So a lot of different cleats are starting to utilize this traction plate, which we'll talk about in a little more detail later. Right above the traction plate, you actually do have a midsole, which is really nice to see. So you have a Nike Lunar Lawn midsole all the way around here, which adds another layer of comfort. You have a two piece upper to this. So you have one piece that wraps around the front of the toe box. It's like a, a synthetic TPU type material. You can see all these little ridges and stuff all along it. And then wrapping around the back here, we have like a synthetic suede leather type material here that is one piece all the way around. On the back, you do have a really beefy pull tab because they are a little bit tricky of a cleat to get on. Or on the inside here, you have do have a couple layers of really nice thick padding for your ankle and your Achilles. And for the lacing system, they have two features on here. The first thing you'll see is the Velcro strap that goes all the way around here. This does have a little bit of like a synthetic. You can see this is all super stiff, but right here at this point it does have some stretch to it. So it gets a really nice tight fit. And you do have the lacing system here, which connects down below. And when you tighten these, you actually feel it tightening in your foot all the way down here. So it basically connects with the laces here and then it goes all the way down and connects somewhere around the midsole. Okay, let's jump into the categories. So the first one we're gonna look at is like how they feel, right? The comfort, the fit, and overall support of the cleat. So as far as comfort goes, these are a very comfortable cleat if you don't have incredibly wide feet. We've actually seen a lot of complaints online from people with super wide feet complaining about how well these fit. And I think it's valid because I actually have a size 13 here. I wear a size 12 to 12 and a half. And I found for my wide feet, these were like right on the edge. So I think if I did actually go true to size with these cleats, they would have been too tight on the side of my feet. Another thing that kind of complements that is we've seen a lot of people actually blow out these cleats where around here, around the midsole where it connects, people have just been like destroying them. Um, so I think that's because they're too narrow on some people's feet and people are just straight up busting these cleats. Now a really good comparison for that is gonna be this Nike Four Savage cleat here. And you can see how it's basically the same width the entire way down, where this Adidas Nasty, you can actually see how much it bellies around for a wide foot around there. So it's a really good comparison to see what they probably should be doing in the future. Now, as far as ankle support goes, um, I actually think it's a really good height where it hits me right on my ankle. I think it fits really well. Now the ankle strap does lock you in nice. However, they did it in a really weird way, um, which I'm surprised like nobody caught. Okay, so you have your cleats tied, right? And normally you'd have them tied and it looks something like this, but you also have this ankle strap here, right? And this has to go through this little piece right here through and lock in there. So then what happens to your laces? They just hang out on top here like this. Um, there should have been a better way to incorporate that lacing system where it tucked your laces inside and didn't leave them exposed like this at the top. You also can't really tuck them in because where they connect to the shoe right at the top right here, you can use it without putting it through that little loop so you can rock it just like this, but that's not how Nike intended it. So I think it's a bad on their part. Now for the overall comfort of this shoe, they added a lot of padding to this in a lot of different areas, which I do really like to see. So like we already mentioned, they do have a lot of padding around the ankle here. You have actually a really nice padded uh, tongue to the cleat as well. It's a really thick material. That's really nice to see. You have the Lunar Lawn sole, which does go all the way around, around the toe cap here. So you have a full, midsole on this cleat, which is also incredibly comfortable. On top of that, with the way the lacing system does connect, it really hugs your foot well. When you feel that cleat tightening, when you're tightening those laces, you feel it really hug your foot. And it's a really nice 
comfortable, tight fit. Now, one thing I actually forgot to mention when we were doing the initial review was the weight of these cleats. Now, these cleats are not light by any means. In fact, they weigh pretty much twice as much as most other like receiver cleats. These ones, I think were 18. I'll put it on the screen here. And then the second cleat I'm gonna show you just as a comparison are going to be the Nike Elite TD2s that I have right here. Okay, now let's look at the overall protection of these cleats. So these are probably gonna be one of the most protective lineman cleats on the market right now, because the way they designed them. And that might also be why they're so commonly used in the NFL right now. So this is a one piece upper here with this hexagonal pattern. Now, I don't know how much that hexagon actually helps. It might be to help like deflect cleats off the side or something like that. Um, but because it's this like synthetic material, it's incredibly durable and you're not gonna bust through that with another pair of cleats. Only material I do worry about is this suede material around the back. The reason is because I had a pair of Under Armour cleats that use that material on the front as well and they fell apart instantly. So this like suede material, I don't really trust. Now, if it's super comfortable, it's super protective, it hugs your foot really well, right? There has to be a downside to these cleats and that's gonna be the breathability. When you're looking at these cleats, there's there's just no breathability to these at all. You can see with this entire one piece upper here, there's no ventilation holes. It's not a breathable type material. If you play in a hot condition, your feet are gonna get very hot in these cleats. A really good comparison is when you're looking at these, right, you can see kind of same style around the toe box here with this patterned look, but you can see all these ventilation holes that they had on the side, and it's more like a breathable material here. Whereas these have none of those anywhere, the only breathability you're gonna have is through the tongue, which isn't a lot. Okay, now let's talk about probably one of the best things that Nike is doing right now, and I hope that they continue to do in the future, and that's gonna be this Menace traction plate here. Now, when we're looking at this traction plate, there are a lot of features to it. First off, you do have 14 of these large triangular spikes that go all the way around the perimeter here. You do have six smaller triangles in the middle. You also have another four of these side spikes that are gonna kind of help your side to side movement. And on top of that, the entire plate is covered in this like textured material to add a little bit more grip even on top of that. Now, as far as flexibility goes, this really has no flexibility to it, which is fine as a lineman. Now you've also seen a lot of companies, including Adidas now going to these triangle studs because they're finding just better overall grip with the triangle versus the circular studs. This is gonna be a fantastic traction plate on grass and turf fields. It's gonna be an overall really good traction plate. I see it really good for lateral movement, really good for digging your feet in. You can just see how long some of these triangle spikes are on the sides. And I love this traction plate. And me and football equipment, Devin, we both think that they should be putting this traction plate on more cleats in the future. Now, if Nike was watching this video right now, I'd give them three things to go back on. Number one, make the shoe slightly wider to fit linemen feet. Linemen have wide feet, we need a little bit extra room. Number two, try and incorporate some breathability ports back into the next model of this to make it so it's better in hot conditions. Number three, take this traction plate, put it on every cleat you've ever made and go for it. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review of the Nike Force Savage Pro Lyman Cleat. If you did like this video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment if you do have these down below. Check you guys next time.